To continue our incredible success, we must elect more Republicans, and we must elect Troy Balderson. We have to elect Troy. The fact that people need to come in for my opponent, I think, shows that he's going to be beholden to what he's told to do in D.C. I'm going to be an independent voice for the people of the 12th District. No one's going to tell me what to do. I need your vote August 7th so I can go to Congress and represent you and fight alongside this good man, this great man, President Trump. Big special election coming up in Ohio on Tuesday. And we're talking to the governor of Ohio, John Kasich. He joins us this morning from Columbus. Governor, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. You saw the president last night. Pretty hot <laughs> inside that arena uh, last night. Kind of surprising that he even has to come to Ohio for a special election in a district that he won by double digits. Why is it even close? Well, George, I think if you take a couple things, first of all, the chaos that seems to surround Donald Trump has unnerved a lot of people. So suburban women in particular here are the ones that uh, are really turned off. And you add to that the, uh, you know, millennials, uh, you, you have it very close. It's really kind of shocking because this should be just a slam dunk and it's not. What I also will tell you, George, is uh, the Democrats have a, have a weak candidate. This, this guy's just not doing it because there's no message. So uh, it's likely in the end that Balderson should, should be able to win narrowly, but it's pretty surprising. But it's a, it really doesn't you're, bode well for the Republican Party because this should be, shouldn't even be contested. You're in kind of an unusual position in this race. You've endorsed uh, Troy Balderson, but on his website, I want to read it to everybody. He says, Troy Balderson believes we must repeal and replace Obamacare once and for all. He has consistently voted to keep Obamacare out of Ohio, opposing Governor Kasich's efforts to bring it to the state. And then Danny O'Connor, uh, in his ad, seems to support you. Let's take a look. <laughs> I voted for John Kasich the last three times. I voted for Trump because I didn't like the way things were going in Washington. And now I'm supporting Danny O'Connor. John Kasich and Danny O'Connor both don't worry about the labels of Democrat, Republican. They're going to go get things done either way. That does echo your message, doesn't yeah. it? Both, both candidates. Now, Troy Balderson wants, you know, I'm on television because they asked me to help him, and why am I helping him? Well, well, there are three reasons. One is he came out against this border separation policy, he came out against the tariffs, and he came out for fixing Social Security. You know, I don't know, on his website or whatever, I asked him the other day, why are you bringing Trump in? He said, well, I don't have anything to do with it. So, look, I think he's trying to thread this needle. But the reason I've been for Balderson is he's worked with me for eight years in the legislature, George, and we had a lot of tough decisions. And now Ohio, we're up, we're up a half a million jobs. We've got about $3 billion in our rainy day fund from 89 cents. We, you know, he has been there for me on those issues. But I have to tell you, there are other issues, other people I'm sitting out, you know, and I don't like what I just heard about this health care. The fact is, is that I fought hard to make sure that uh, we didn't lose health care for 20 million people. So I'm disappointed to hear that this did, morning. Did, did, did Troy Balderson really But I don't really know if he has anything to do with it, because a lot of these campaigns, unfortunately, the candidate ha doesn't have a lot to do well, with it. But I know Troy. I like him. He's been with me, and he's declared independence. He better be independent, because if he's not, he's going to get some calls from an angry constituent, did, did, namely Did, he, did me. he really tell you that he was surprised that President Trump was coming and didn't want him to come? No, I asked him. I said, I said, Troy, why did you invite Trump in here, the president? He said, no, I didn't. So, you know, I think Donald Trump decides where he wants to go, and I think they think they're firing it up the base. But I have to tell you, at the same time he comes in here, I was with some women last night who said, hey, you know what? I'm not voting. And they're Republicans. I'm not voting for the Republicans. See, this is the problem the party has now. The problem the Democrats have is I don't know what their message is, George. You tell me. It's sort of like anti-Trump, but no message. You can't win elections if you don't have a message. You know that. You've been involved in politics. I know it. If you can't have a positive, inspiring message, you don't do very well. And that's what puts the Democrats at risk here in this midterm election from having a bigger wave than what they'll probably well, have. We're going to ask Governor Jay Inslee about that. You also mentioned tariffs and said you were against the <laughs> tariffs. President Trump spent a lot of time last night talking about how, how good tariffs are. He says, he wrote in a tweet this morning, they are working big time, completely taking on what you believe, what a lot of Republicans have believed for an awful long time. George, here's the funny thing. It, the fact is, is that the president met with the guy from the European Union, and they agreed that they would work to have no tariffs. 
When Donald Trump came into office, Barack Obama, believe it or not, had on the table basically a free trade agreement. Then after all this noise and all this fighting and all this recrimination and higher prices for lots of industries and consumers, now we're going to go back to where we were at the beginning of this term. All this could have been called off. Now here's the thing about tariffs. What they do is they hurt consumers, they hurt businesses in this country, and you can see how people have been reacting to it who are business people that want to get their markets overseas. For farmers, farmers don't want welfare, they want trade. They want to be able to sell their stuff. In regard to China, what we need to do with China is to work with our allies to say that this theft of intellectual property cannot stand. The problem is we've made so many of our allies angry, they're not so reluctant to get in line with us. But that is ultimately the answer for us and for our allies to insist that China play by the rules. And if they don't, we should start targeting par parts of their industries, I including their banking industry. I, I got to ask you about that tweet President Trump sent out Friday night about LeBron James, talking about Don Lemon being dumb, making LeBron James, uh, <laughs> and even LeBron James look smarter by comparison. Uh, it, it seems like whenever the president brings up the idea of IQ, smart, dumb, it has to do with African Americans. Is he playing the race card? Well, I think there's a division. Uh, he, he's a divider, and it's, I don't know that, I've never thought about it that way, George, but this is the chaos that has turned. Look, Republicans have gone from about 30, 31 percent down to about 25 percent. The party has shrunk because we don't have this positive growth-oriented opportunity message. You know, I ended up doing a tweet about that. Uh, not only did I say that LeBron should be praised. Look, he's got $41 million set aside to help kids go to college, plus a bunch of other schools. But I also disagreed with the president, because you know what? All around, LeBron, I think a little better than MJ. Oh. Definitive conclusion there from Governor Casey. Governor, <laughs> thanks for joining us this All morning. All right, George. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.